Service class is a concept in which application or business logic of an application is placed in dedicated classes. Using this pattern or concept has a couple of advantages, which include code reusability. Since the logic are contained in a particular place, they can easily be reused in multiple places, e.g. in controllers, models, or even ACE commands. Also, it kind of forces us to adhere to the single responsibility principle, that is from the solid principles. And lastly, it makes our controllers or models slim or lean. In this lesson, I will be showing you how to implement the service class pattern in Adonis. Since this is not a concept that Adonis provides out of the box, there is no ACE command to create service class, so we need to create them manually. So inside the app directory, I'm going to create a new directory, which I'm going to call services. And this will be the place where all services will be stored. Before we go on and create our first service class, let's take a look at the current implementation I would want us to refactor to use service class. So I have a auth controller and a register controller, and each of them has just one method. So the register controller has a register method, and why the auth controller has a login method. I have basically extracted this from the Adonis Mastery code base, and I've gotten rid of things that are not needed for this lesson. For each of the method, I have in place Google Recapture. So for the login method, before user is allowed to log in, that is if they provide their correct details, the recapture verification needs to pass. And same thing is applicable for the register method. Again, before user is registered, the recapture verification needs to pass. I already covered how I implemented Google Recapture in an Adonis.js application in one of my tutorials. So you can check out the tutorials section on Adonis Mastery if you want to learn how to implement this. Having said that, you notice one thing in the methods. So we have the same logic here in the register method as well as the login method. So I'm going to refactor the methods to make use of service class instead of having the implementation directly in each of the methods. So we're going to create our first service class, uh, which I will call recapture service dot ts. Then export class recapture service. Before we add the implementation, there are two, or should I say three ways we can make use of service class in Adonis. The first way is to make use of static methods. Then the second way is to make use of instance methods. And with instance methods, we have two ways of using them. We're going to look at how to implement all of them in this lesson. First, we're going to start with static method. The recapture service is going to contain one method, which we are going to call verify. Like I said, we're starting with the static method. So let's make this a static method. And the implementation is going to be basically what we have in the methods. So I'm going to grab all this and paste it over. And then I'm going to pull in the necessary dependencies. We need the recapture token so we can allow the verify method to accept the token. So recapture token, which is going to be a string. Then also I'm going to allow it to accept the action, which is also going to be a string. And the method is going to return a boolean. And since this is an async method, we need to wrap this in a promise. Instead of flashing and redirecting here, we are simply going to return a boolean. So if the verification is not successful, or the verification score is less than 0 0.7, or the verification action is not login, let me change this to login, we are going to return false, otherwise, I'm going to return true. That is the verification passes. So let's make use of the action variable here. So action can either be register or login. So we've created a service class which contains one static method. So what we need to do now is use this service in our, say the auth controller. Since the service contains a static method, so we can simply just import the service, recapture, service we could as well make the export a default export so export default that way we, we could just import it directly so we've imported the recapture service and since it contained a static method so we can make use of it by simply calling the method on it so recapture service dot verify then we'll pass the required arguments that is the recapture token and the action which is going to be login in this case Remember the verify method is an async method, so we need to await this. So we can get rid of this. Since we already have this if check, 
embedded inside this verify method. So we can simply just have this as the if condition. Embedding the verification implementation inside a service class makes this controller a lot more readable and lean and straightforward. So we can easily see that, oh, we verify the recapture token from a verify method inside a recapture service. So we can get rid of these imports as we don't need them anymore. Then we can do the same thing inside the register method. Again, I'm going to get rid of this. Then await recapture service dot verify. You pass the recapture token and the action. This time is going to be register. Again, let's get rid of this. Sorry, this should be if not. So that is if the verification fails. That is when we flash this message to the session and direct back. Otherwise we will allow the user to create an account and same thing is applicable to the auth login method so this should be not verify so that is one way to make use of service class using static methods so now let's look at the second way which is making use of instance methods let's go back to the recapture service i'm going to duplicate this and comment this out This is going to be an instance method, so I'll get rid of the static keyword. The implementation remains the same because we are not really doing any class specific thing inside the method. So now if we head over to the auth controller or register controller, we should have an error. Property verify does not exist on the type recapture service. So because this is no longer a static method, we can't call it this way. So we need to create an instance of the service class. Then from the instance, we can access the method. Typical OOP concept. So to fix that, we need to create an instance of the service recapture service equals new recapture service. Then we can say recapture service dot verify. And everything should be working as before. But now we are making use of instance method. First, we create an instance of the service. Then we used that instance to call the method on the service. For simple class like this, this is totally fine. But imagine we have two or more methods in this auth controller that needs to make use of the recapture service. Having to create a new instance inside each of them might not be ideal. We could instead move that inside the class constructor, that is, constructor. So we can have a property that we can call recapture service, which is going to be a type of the recapture service. Then inside the constructor, we are going to initialize it to be an instance of the recapture service. This recapture service equals new recapture service, which is basically what we have here. But now we can get rid of this and make use of the class property instead. Now we can make use of the service property in any methods inside the class. But there is a better way we can achieve this. So instead of having to do this, that is, create the instance of the service class by ourselves, we can allow Adonis to do that for us. And the way we can do that is to make use of the inject decorator. So what we need to do is decorate this class, that is, the auth controller with the inject decorator. And we need to pull in inject from Adonis fold. Import inject from at Adonis.js slash fold then instead of having to do this we can move this inside the constructor and get rid of this completely and everything should still work as before so these are different ways to make use of service class using instance methods to wrap up let me show you another way to make use of instance method let's head over to the recapture service so instead of having the export default here so we are going to define the class like this then we'll come here and do the default export new recapture service so anywhere we import the recapture service we are importing an instance of the recapture service class this will make the recapture service class a single thing so if we head back to the auth controller we should see that our current implementation is showing up that is because recapture here is now an instance of the recapture class so we could now do recapture 
service dot verify and everything should again still work as before so that is how to make use of the service class pattern in adonis and i showed you different ways to implement it that is using static methods using instance methods using the inject decorator to automatically create instance of a service class then lastly how to create a singleton service class in the next lesson we will look at how to implement the repository pattern in adonis